Hi, this is Richard from Music English. Um, in today's session, I'm just going to show you how to translate the English subtitles into a language that you speak. Okay, I've chosen a Beatles song really because Beatles songs are just great. They've got great lyrics. Lots of people know them. Um, and I'm going to translate today these subtitles into Bulgarian. Let's find out how to do that. First, we need to um, go to this arrow here and we need to click it. And you see the buttons down here, the, sorry, the, um, the instructions. Um, we need this one, add new translation. So let's select that. Okay, what can you see here? We've got, the video is in English and it says subtitle into English. Nope, that's not good. We're going to change that. So we click this down arrow here and then we've got a whole list of languages to choose from. Okay, so I'm going to select here for Bulgarian. We're going to start with a fresh translation today and we're going to subtitle into Bulgarian. So, okay, translate from English. Yep, subtitle into Bulgarian, that's good. Okay, so here we are, we've got the interface. And as you can see, all the um, subs in English are written out. You can see the timing next to them. So what's happened here is because I've already put the... Um, English subtitles onto the video, they're all synced already, which means they're already in time. And what you have to do if you want to translate them is simply to to write in your language or the language you're translating into in the boxes below each subtitle. Now what I've done to make it a bit easier, um, I've already um, translated it on another file um, and checked my translation to make sure it's correct, etc. I'm, I'm still not 100% confident that it is correct. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have a go. And so what I'm actually going to do is rather than typing each line into here, I'm simply going to paste it in from my other document, which you can't see, okay? Um, let's have a look at that then. Okay, so let's start pasting in the Bulgarian lyrics which are equivalent to the English ones here. So, as I said, I'm just copying and pasting. So, I'm going to right-click here, or paste. So, right-click the mouse, and then left-click, paste. And you see, there's the uh, Bulgarian. So, we've got She Loves You, yeah, 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 in English, and in Bulgarian, that corresponds to Teater, Bicha, da, da, da. Now, I know I probably many of you Bulgarians are out there probably rolling around laughing at the moment with that pronunciation. Um, but anyway, got to be brave and try this so because this line is the same I can just do the same like that and this one is the same again so off we go okay now I've got to paste in a new line because the lyrics changed here okay so you think you've lost your love and I'm going to paste in the next line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue going through all the lines in the song until I've completed it. Okay, so I've now been through the whole um, song. And as you can see there, I've put all the subtitles into the different spaces below each English subtitle. And what I'd probably normally do at this stage is just to sort of briefly check them. But we've got opportunities to check a bit later, so I'm not so worried about that. The important thing is that I've filled all of them in. There's no empty spaces because it's not going to allow you to um, say you've finished the translation if you haven't filled in all the boxes. So that's really, really important to do that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to go to the next step, which I need to click here. Um, all right, then. If you want to stop here and have a break and then come back to it later, you could do save and exit, but I'm going to carry on. Okay, we just need, we've got to the stage now where we need to retitle it um, just to give a bit more information about the translation. So I'm just going to put the translated title into the box here. Um, I'm keeping the Beatles as the Beatles. I don't think you need to translate names of groups particularly. Um, and everybody knows them as the Beatles. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to translate the name of the group. Um, but I have translated the name of the song. Um, Teatro Bicho, because that's what it's called, She Loves You. Um, you could put some more information here, if you wanted as well, into the description box. Um, for example, let's try something. Let's just put um, 
Bulgarian translation of She Loves You by The Beatles. It's always good to, let's just get the spelling right, it's always good to add more information to these kind of boxes because this helps um, search engines on the internet pick up these uh, files. So the more information we give, the more descriptions we give, the better titles we give to documents that we put or files that we put on the internet. Um, people are more likely to find it. All right. So the word Bulgarian in there is really important to help uh, people who might be interested in seeing the Bulgarian translation and find this on the internet. So um, again, you could have a break here and come back to it later. Um, you could go back to the translation if you wanted to go over it again, make some corrections, like I said before. But I'm happy with it, and um, I'm going to submit the final translation. Done. Okay, now, this is the point in time where I said that you're going to have to have an account with Amara, um, Universal Subtitles, if you want to save your work. Um, one option, obviously, is to to create an account with Amara before you do any of this translation work. And I'm taking a bit of a risk here um, by doing it last. But anyway, um, you could create it at this stage as well. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm already, um, I've already got an account with Amara, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to log into my accounts so I can save this translation. Um, I'll show you on another video how to create an account with Amara, but it's really easy. It's just a case of um, creating a username password and giving um, an email address. All right then, so I could also log into my account using any of these options. Some of you might be on Twitter, some of you might be on Facebook. Um, so you could you could create an account using your Facebook, but I'm just going to go in with this one. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the sign in page for Amara. Um, so if it's your first time here, you'd need to create an account. And what you'd do is you'd click this one. It says, or use your Amara account. Don't have one. Okay, so you click that, and then you could create your account. So give yourself a username, put in your email address, give yourself a password, and then create account. But anyway, I'll be looking at this in more detail on another video coming up soon. I think the most important thing today is that we get going with um, translating subtitles and seeing how to do it. That's the fun bit. Okay, so when you've put in your username and you've put in your password and you've clicked continue, you come back to the screen you were before um, so that now now that you've got an account or now that you are logged into your account, you can submit your final translation again. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so you've got this box that says your changes have been saved. It may take a moment for your subtitles to appear. Okay, and it does sometimes. You just press OK to acknowledge that. I've come back to my website, Music English, to check to see if the Bulgarian translation has been added, and then I'm going to test it to see if it works. So, we're back on Music English, and I'm looking at She Loves You by the Beatles. Um, I'm going to select the language again. Hooray! Got um, Yep, it's there. English, British, and Bulgarian. So, what I have to do is, if I want to see if the subtitles actually work, I need to select Bulgarian. Okay, so far so good. Let's, okay, the exciting part. Let's press play and see if they appear or not. Great, they do. I hope you found this session really, really useful and really interesting. And I hope it's encouraged you to have a go yourself. As I suggested before, you know, choose a song that's going to be easy for you at the beginning and not too too complex or too difficult and you'll really enjoy it. Uh, one warning, it's very addictive, once you start subbing videos and translating them it's a lot of fun and it's actually difficult to stop. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me today and look forward to talking to you again in the next session. Bye bye!